Hi, this is Clayton, owner of Stony RV in Stony Plain, Alberta. We're a new dealer for Forest River Ibex travel trailers. Now these are off the grid style travel trailers. This is the big brother to kind of the Forest River R-Pod or Forest River NOBO, which stands for no boundaries. They're kind of all kind of uh, beefier off-road tires. This, the Ibex is designed for, or it specializes in off-grid style camping, even though it's perfectly fine for conventional camping, just plug and play. It also has a, a really good off-grid package with a, large solar panels on the roof, uh, 2000 watt inverters that charge up a lot of things, including even the 12 volt TV inside, so you can watch TV off-grid, digital, digital antennas on the roof. I'll get you more into the power package as we walk through this model. These also come in toy hauler models. Ibex has three different toy hauler models, a bunch of couples trailers and bunk model trailers. This one here is the 23 foot trailer and the model number is RLDS for rear living room dinette slide out. It comes in at a little over 5,000 pounds. These bigger eight foot wide units are usually about 5,000 pounds or less. And the seven and a half foot wide units are 4,000 pounds or less. What I really love about these is the uh, trailer quality starts from the roof down, in my opinion. This one has the twice as thick as normal liner on the roof. It's, uh, it's a PVC roof. It has a 15 year warranty. And some other really great options with this roof is it's, it's fully walk on. There's ladders on all models to get you to the top. There's a 500 pound load rating on the roof. And they also have a rhino tracks on the top that have snap in racks for canoes or luggage or storage or, or whatever, whatever you're looking for. This model, the 23 RLDS is 27 and a half feet, eight foot wide. Uh, so it's, it's a nice tall wide unit. It's one of the bigger ones in the lineup. Along on the roof, you'll notice that it has an air conditioner, but it's the big 15K air conditioner. So it really puts out good cooling for the entire units. You're not, you're not uh, limited to cooling on the bigger units. As well, like I said before, solar panels, and then the inverter system, and the Rhino tracks. With that 15 year warranty, there's also a wine guard digital antenna that picks up uh, TV channels for up to 40 to 50 miles. What I love about the Ibex is this new 2023 wrap. You can see it has the ghosted image of the X on both sides, the Ibex branding, the wrap with uh, neutral colors, and really nice embossed chrome pieces. There's even a Sasquatch on this side, ghosted in the corner, which you may or may not be able to see in certain light. You can kind of see a, a ghosted image of a Sasquatch, which is pretty cool. They have branding at the back and really nice branding all along the side and front corner. So I am gonna show you feature for feature the best I can. I strongly recommend you look at the Forest River Ibex website online for all the details and floor plans. They're very, very, very cool units. Now, for the suspension, they'll all come with these kind of off-grid off -grid tires. They're a Wrangler tire, lion's head wheels, really, really uh, sharp looking for all the trucks and SUVs and Jeeps and everything out there to pull. Now, they're gonna have three different types of suspensions. They're gonna have your conventional axles with the springs. They're also going to have the seven and a half foot models are going to have torsion axles and these bigger units and some of the smaller units are also going to be offered in beast mode, which we are bringing in beast mode. Beast mode is the Kurt suspension. They're independent to each wheel. There are shocks and coil springs for each individual tire and it gives you a really true smooth ride and off grid cool look. They all come with large awnings. This one's an 18 foot awning. They try to put the, some of the bigger, uh, biggest awnings they can on these units and definitely in their class, they have big, big awnings compared to anything in their class. So you can take a look at that. Now, another thing they, uh, they put on is an automotive grade front glass. It's a dark tinted window. It's two feet by five feet and has a really nice, uh, really opens the light from the inside, gives it a modern look. I love that Ibex branding. It's kind of ghosted in there as well. Now they have the checker plate protection that's full four feet. So it stops any kind of damage to the front of your trailer. These can be really easily painted or replaced. The, the uh, another really incredible thing about these trailers is they kind of have a winter, a full winter package on them. They're not dual pane windows by all means. 
They're single pane windows, but they have a fully insulated and enclosed underbelly and uh, heated, heated tanks on all three of your tanks. Now for off-grid use, you need more tank capacity. These have larger tank capacity than anything in their class. So you'll have to check out that as well. So let's start walking around and I'm gonna catch things. Uh, hopefully I don't miss anything, but you can always go to the websites and catch it all. All the trailers will have an electric front lifting jack. All of them will have propane tanks. They have capabilities for one or two batteries. They have a dog leech tie off. They have, they have all their wiring system is not exposed. So it's it all goes underneath and it's tucked away. It's called a sealed system. They have a battery disconnect in a really convenient area. Now these exterior uh, smooth shell trailers are not all built equally. This is the Asdale product. Now Asdale is coming out in a lot of trailers and what you want in an Asdale trailer is the property that it doesn't ever take on moisture. It's a 100% zero, zero moisture intake. So you're not gonna get that water in between layers which gives you delaminization. It's lighter and the foam filled in around it gives you a stronger stronger uh, resistance uh, for, for many different things including sound, strength and weight. So read up on Asdell because that is the product that you guys want. They all come with nice size slides on them. There's a few models that don't have slides, but the 23RL DS does have the dinette slide. 30 amp shore cords, all LED lights, all the way on the outside, all in the inside. You can see that the, all the clearance lights are, are LED as well. Full size spare tires, Wrangler spares roof access ladder they want you to go on the roof go up there jump around it's a solid solid roof which you won't find in a lot of models they have backup camera prep that's one of the options you can get they have uh, all these tires are nit nitrogen filled and they all have a tpm tpms system for tire pressuring monitor system and you'll get a little digital readout in your vehicle if any of them go low i love the aluminum steps these bigger ones have higher ground clearance they're adjustable on the bottom for any kind of train you're on. You're getting a good tread that's nice and grippy and folds away nicely. They all come with assist handles. They all come with nice black awnings, LED light strips, really heavy dark tinted windows, LED security lights. They all come with the bush kitchen. These are great. Barbecues are a thing of the past. Everybody's grilling again. They're great for breakfast, great for making smash burgers or anything like that. There's a little table off to the side, a 20 foot hose for washing down your old trailer, or quads or whatever. I'm gonna show you some other water miser features they have inside for saving water. Pass-through front storage, all aluminum substructure, magnetic catches, they even have vacuums, which I'm gonna get into. So your vacuum bags, so you can see all the aluminum, they're all fully enclosed, fully finished bottoms, really good ground clearance. I'm probably missing a few things on the outsides but really it's uh, quite amazing with that uh, uh, rhino roof rack up top you can put anything up there for extra hauling of bicycles to canoes and, and and whatever okay let's take you inside there's your tpm ms uh tire pressuring monitoring monitor kind of gives you some tips on that there's a qr code for uh finding out more information qr code for the ibex 23 RLDS, you can see solar on board. It has the extended journey cold weather package, Asdell sidewalls, so uh, really high end construction. This one weighs in at 49.90. I know the specs say five, a little over 5,000, but they're all a little bit different depending on the options it comes in with. I'm gonna give you wide angle here. There we go, okay. So really spacious model. You know, you're talking probably over five feet in the middle from here to here. So let's start off with the back of the trailer in the rear living room. Full-size sofa bed. The, this end reclines as well. Both ends recline. Really nice fabric. It's a heavy vinyl. They call it pet-friendly, waterproof-friendly, scratch-resistant. So it's, it's a really uh, interesting product. There's little side tables that turn on both sides. Another thing they call, these are seamless countertops. They're kind of a live edge, they call them. You can see how they're, they're kind of formed. So they're uh, a new type of uh, top. 
dark tinted windows. They all come with pleated blinds. Really nice decor. All your controllers for your slide. Now the, the cabinets are all backlit, most of them. Some are blue, some are white. Uh, they're all different on each on each trailer. You have solar on board, explains all the solar, solar charging capabilities this trailer has as the off-grid style. Now your dinette goes down into a bed as well. So you have secondary sleeping here. You have storage underneath. I like when you can access it. These uh, cushions come off, so you get light and dark, kind of two-tone. And there's a built-in safe down here as well, so you can put all your valuables and lock them away. Every trailer has a different safe in a different location throughout the trailer. And again, all that nice waterproof and pet-proof, snag-proof uh, upholstery, which is really high-end. Every trailer will have a JBL flip, flip stereo system inside-outside. Every trailer will have a central vacuum system. There's that roof rack system you can put. There's flat racks just for cargo as well. Some have torsion axles. You can see that it has the residential queen size and all the nitrogen filled, panoramic windows, uh, heavy duty, uh, big, big air conditioners and furnaces, convection microwaves, 12 volt TVs, bush kitchen, max air fans in the bedrooms or bathrooms, full size awnings, large, large water and waste tanks, panoramic windows, a cut above the rest. You have to do some research on these guys. Here's another portfolio of what it offers for charging through the inverter system. Uh, really kind of cool lighting, modern lighting. The side, the roof is not your typical white. It has a nice kind of a, uh, a wood look. Like we said, the 15K air conditioners that are ducted. Your TVs are nice and big. They work on 110 and 12 volts, so it works great when you're bush camping. They even have all your heaters ducted through the sides, not the floors. Little hooks, bottle opener, USB charging ports in three or four different locations on these trailers. Like I said before, backlit areas, plugs, lots of storage. Real modern round stainless sink. And it comes with the matching black pull down faucet. Big windows in the kitchen, glass in cabinets, all LED lights throughout. The glass top suburban three burner stove. Some of the seven foot models have two burner stoves. And there's no ovens on these, but these convection microwaves do the browning and baking as well. So you get everything. Nobody reuses an oven anyhow, so it's really convenient to have that microwave. You got the biggest class fridge in its in its class of trailers. The big double door fridge, no little mini fridges here. The vacuum even has a kit little kick plate where you can just sweep. Sweep all your uh, dust straight into the vacuum. There's your vacuum. You have your stereo, all your books. That's your monitor panel for your tire monitoring system. Um, okay, so let's step back, give you a bit of a wide angle of this before I carry on to the front bedroom. I'm taking up a lot of your time here, 13 minutes. Let's try to cut it down to 15. So your pantry, this one has a pocket door going to a full-size queen bed. You can see plugs on both sides. That panoramic window, when your head's on those pillows, you can look straight up and it goes straight up into the sky. Blue backlit lighting, white lighting up top. Switches and USB chargers on both sides of the bed. Drawers, plugs on both sides of the bed. Little benches there for putting water. Uh, you know, ducted, ducted, so your floor is nice and firm and solid. Solid doors going into your bathroom. Foot flush toilet. A nice size vanity. Medicine cabinet, nice and deep. Fantastic fans in all the trailers, skylights, nice and bright, big showers, big showers. And this is that water miser system. So if you bypass this, it'll let your water circulate until it gets hot. And then you can put it up into your shower and have nice hot water. That saves you about a third of your water when you're camping, waiting for hot water to come. But you can see how nice that pan is. And that's like a tub pan as well. So you can put a cover over that and actually give a, a small child a bath. So I took enough of your time. Please look at the Forest River website for full details on these Ibexes. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video.